Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another beautiful day in our garage studio. Um, I am very excited today. Uh, last week we did a pour with one of the brand new stuck up piggies called Egotistical, which I really, really loved. It was so cool. That was Wispy Galaxy. Great big, huge 36 by 36. It was a lot of fun. And the other color that they released at the same time was this one, which I'm in love with. This is Hoity Toity from Stuck Up Piggies. Let me see that <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Is that upside down? I can't no, tell. No, it's right side up. Okay, hoity toity. But oh. can you see that beautiful violet to blue shift yep. on there? I love this. Is like my uh, dream color right there. Perfect. So I have mixed that one up, and we're going to use that in a pour on this beautiful 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Let's get started. I'm also using a couple of other new colors for me tonight. This is the hoity toity. And again, once we've mixed it up with Floetrol, it gets kind of gray, but it does dry. I don't know if you could see it on the edge of that cup right there, a little bit of the purpley blue right there. Okay. So it's going to be really, really pretty. I can actually already see like a violety shift on the just the wet paint. So this is our hoity toity. The pouring medium I'm using tonight is Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and American Floetrol. I do have a video of how I mix that up. It's called Night of a Thousand Stars. Please check that out. I also have a regular video of how I mix my pouring medium using Golden, um, using <laughs> Liquitex Gloss Medium. So, uh, let me show you the other colors. Let's pick that over. The other piggy that I'm using tonight is this beautiful one. This one is Indigo Waves, which is such a beautiful blue. I think these two are gonna be beautiful next to each other. I'm very excited about this. So, this is Indigo Waves. Again, it looks a little lighter in the cup because of the flow troll, but it should dry this color, which is going to be awesome. So that's Indigo Waves. The other two new ones that I'm using tonight are also new for me. This is TriArt. Um, this is the High Viscosity Thalo Turquoise. Pretty stuff. Very nice. Very pretty. Not as thick as I had thought they were going to be, but leaving a mound on a mound, sinking into itself. And then the other one that I'm also trying from this high viscosity tri-art paint is this one. This is the, what's it called? Iridescent Pearl, which is very pretty. Very shimmery, beautiful color. So, and then last but not least, we are using this one. This is Liquitex Basics in Deep Violet over here. And out of all of these colors, you would think that this would be my favorite color, but this is the one that's actually throwing me for a loop a little bit because I'm worried about it next to the turquoise. But we're going to be using my split cup, so I'm sure it's going to be okay. So that's the deep violet. So I'm going to move these over. I'm going to bring over my awesome 22-ounce five-chamber split cup with a handle. You can get this one at acrylicpouringtools.com. Thank you, Tracy and Chris. You guys are awesome. I love my cup. Um, what I want to do, I'm going to have a beautiful deep Prussian blue as my base coat color, my flow extender color, which I love. So in order to get the most bang for our buck, I want to highlight the two, this little piggy pigments on the outer chambers, especially since they're going to be going on top of that Prussian blue. So that's the method to my madness. <laughs> So we're going to fill up this side chamber with the hoity-toity. I love that name too, it's so much fun to say. Hoity-toity. Okay, and we're going to put that beautiful indigo waves on the other chamber on the side because I want those two colors to be the most prominent in the pour. And I'm going to put the turquoise next to the indigo waves. put that deep violet next to the hoity-toity. Okay. And then we're going to use the iridescent 
pearl in the center chamber. So we're going to pour a puddle of this Prussian blue color in the center to pour into. I'm just going to stretch that out just a little bit because it's a thick layer of paint on there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. HOA, you haven't said anything about there not being any gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little shocked. Um, I think I also want to pour some of the iridescent pearl, like in the center. I'm going to pour into that. Okay, so we're going to do another one of those wispy split cup pours from up high. Um, in the last one that we did with Egotistical, I did it a little bit differently in that I wanted a more background rather than all of the wispy bits all over the place. And since we're only using one cup, I'm going to pour the first half of the cup pretty much in just a straight pour. And then when we get about halfway through, then I'm going to start doing the wispy bits sort of thing. So we're going to go right there in the center. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. I am Okay, ready. here we go. We're going to stay nice and high up. And we're going to pour. So this is the first half of the cup. Just put some twists and turns in there. Now we're going to get kind of higher and we're going to do that wispy thing. and blue. <laughs> Let's look at this for a second. I'm seeing a lot of that hoity-toity in here. I really like this edge. I don't know if I'm in love with that side. So I want to keep this side. So I think we're going to go off this side first and anchor it. There's kind of a lot of paint on here. I'm just going to walk it down slowly.
on the back. I'm going to take that bit of pressure off of the bottom there also. Okay, a couple of observations. I'm not really happy with what's what it looks like right now. <laughs> The deep violet, and I just tripped in it, the deep violet with that turquoise green is kind of throwing me off a little bit. And because the hoity-toity is like kind of grayish, it's not looking very good. Interestingly, the thing that I liked the best was the Prussian blue. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my cup again. All right. We're going to grab our cup again and just do the same thing but instead of using the deep violet i'm going to use the prussian blue in the same spot so we're going to put this indigo waves on this edge again Right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. We're going to wander around with this a little bit too, so. Yeah, see, I like that a lot better. Just right off the bat. I'm going to lift the cup up a little bit here. tired. We don't want to drop the cup. <laughs> I'm already liking this color combination a lot better. So, all right, let's see. Let's kind of move this around a little bit before we take it off of that edge. We're going to go all the way over to this side. And it's moving nice and easy because there's already a base coat on there. That side to come back. And then get down this way.
Okay, that's good. I'm happy. <laughs> I like that a lot better. Um, Looks groovy. Do you think we should take some of this off? Of that corner? Because everything else is kind of stretched out and really I think we need to. Just a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to keep the dark blue, but I want to get rid of some of the what's on the corner. And then we'll stretch it back out again. Also because it's moving fast. And remember, if it's moving really fast, then you have a lot of paint on here. And we'll open this up now. So this is making me happier already because I like what these colors are doing next to each other a lot more. That violet was definitely throwing me off a lot and making me not like it. Um, I do see the hoity-toity a lot in here. I see that beautiful iridescent the turquoise. I see the um, indigo waves. I'll put my hands off and then I can point. But I love this, this whole that beautiful Prussian against the hoity-toity with the pearl in there. These little wispy lines, I love that, it's so cool. And all in here too is really, really neat. Do you think it needs to go down a little bit more? Anyway, this is looking pretty cool now. I'm happier with it. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me. Um, but you know, I wanna encourage you guys, if you pour something and you're not in love with it, figure out what you don't like and change it and do it again if you have the paint because then you end up with a canvas that you actually really like and probably other people will too. So this was kind of cool. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thanks so much for being here with us today. We'll be right back. I think it's gonna be really pretty when it's dry. Charlotte. Hi. Hi, puppy. Go run. <laughs> what you doing, Char? <laughs> Your kisses? <laughs> kisses are so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Give her kisses, Baxi. Aww. <laughs> He's like, look, we can lay on the grass. It's nice here. That's my rock. <laughs> okay, so this is a couple of days later. Okay, I'm loving how this turned out. I am so happy that I switched out the deep violet for that Prussian blue because I think it's giving it so much contrast and so much pop to the lighter colors and creating so much depth and shadow in there. That beautiful feathery shape in the center, this part over here, which is just so pretty. All of these wispy lines. Okay, so there we go. Really cool stuff. Uh, the iridescent pearl is very pearly. It's very pretty. I love that turquoise. And there's the shift. Do you see? It's turquoise. And now it's purple. <laughs> Let's go this way. And now it's dark blue. <laughs> and now it's turquoise. <laughs> That's so awesome, I love that. Anyways, this is very fun. Um, I love those stuck up piggies. <laughs> they are gorgeous. And uh, I hope you give them a try. You can find them at fluidart.co. And um, thanks for being here. Check out our website at pourcon.com. I am teaching this wispy split cup pour there and also the spiral split cup pour. 
So come and see us in Vegas. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.